And we have continuing coverage tonight of the city's year long plan to build or years long plan to build that desalination plant. A site has been selected and today the city pretty much put a down payment on that project. Chris Six News reporter Greg Chandler joins us now live from City Hall and Greg, give us a breakdown of what happened today. Well, Katya, about two hours ago, the city council voted to approve the first 11.4 million of what will eventually become a $222 million loan from the Texas Water Development Board. Now that loan will help pay for the desal plant the city plans to bid, build along the, inner, or along the ship channel in its inner harbor. Now the city project was 111 approved for funding by the TWDB out of more than 100 applications from around the state. Now, uses for this first installment include design, land acquisition, and permitting. Mayor Joe McComb calls today's vote the next step in a process towards desal, which started in 2001. These things take a long time, so this is just a normal planning process. We're not going to be spending all the money at one time, and it won't impact the rates for several years, and, and in many degrees, it have a very minimal impact. Now that loan will help pay for the de or excuse me, yeah, that loan will help pay for the desal plant the city plans to bid that the total cost or excuse me, there was some dissension. It was a six to three vote with council members Guajardo, Hernandez and Garza voicing their concerns. Their main concern with voting for that loan today was they simply didn't have enough information. I believe any decision we make that we're spending a taxpayer dollar we have to know the cost, in this case, of the alternatives to what we're spending today, which is $11.4 million. I wanted to see other options. The only thing we're seeing is design build. We're not looking at build, owner, operate. We're not looking at P3. We're not looking at, at, at really a lot of things with pricing. Now, you just heard Councilman Hernandez say P3. That stands for Private-Public Partnership, and Hernandez believes that would be a cheaper option to pursue desal with. Up next, the city will continue on with its permitting process, and there is still a long way to go. But for now, reporting live at City Hall, Greg Chandler. Chris Six News. It Got is you. a long way to go. All right, Greg, thank you. And the city had to vote to accept the TWDB's loan offer by September 8th. The loan still needs to pass a second vote. 